Good evening, everybody. Here we are at the Gallery Inn at the beautiful music room. Uh, my name is Jose Ramos Santana, and uh, the owner and the founder of the Stanway Society of Puerto Rico, Madame Jan de Sopo. And we have a very wonderful guest tonight, uh, a standing composer and guitarist from Puerto Rico and a professor of the conservatory, Dr. Alberto Rodriguez. Wonderful to be here among these two wonderful artists, and uh, it's it's been a while since I've been in, in this room, and it is, uh, it brings me great memories. So, <laughs> good, good. Thank Welcome you. back. <laughs> thing you'd like to share with your creativity to begin? Well, lately, I, I mean, we've have, I have had uh, wonderful news. I mean, like, like just my, my piece, Los Colores de una Noche Negra, was recently uh, published by Stat Music Publishing. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a very young and uh, an active uh, publishing house. And uh, they, he, he is a German Men, but he lives in Thailand. They, they have the in, in Thailand the, the, the their house, and uh, and then after that uh, we're gonna be uh, publishing another fourteen works. So we already have that conversation, and there are three more. Say the name again. Of the Star Music Publishing, and the the piece. The piece is Los Colores de una Noche Negra. It's okay. from Chamber Los Music. Los Colores. Yeah. The colors of the black night. Colors of the dark. Dark, dark, yes. yes. And then, uh, so the editor is, is Stefan Schroeder. Mm -hmm. So uh, we would like to say hi to Stefan. I, I know he, he will be watching, watching us. Watching us. We are from Thailand, you know. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah that's wonderful. There's uh, well, 11 hours or something, or, or 12. Uh, well, we're on YouTube, so he'll be able to dial it up at his own convenience. Oh, yes. and that's good. So that's very good, and congratulations. Oh, thank this you very much. Your I'm very excited. Yeah. 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 yeah, it is. Uh, I mean, like, I'm, I'm very happy to say uh, very you, know, I, I, you have been, uh, like, in a lot of, of my stages of my career. Absolutely. And, uh, I think and, you first came here playing the guitar. Yeah, I, I, yes. I, I have played here, like, many times. Many, I remember, I, yeah, there was a singer. Uh, we, we did some some so, uh, feeling concert here. I accompanied her, her and then we did the concert with Nicolas Colusses. We, we had like uh, uh, two or three weeks ago as a guest artist in our uh, Strings Festival at the Conservatory of Music of Puerto Rico with Pedro Rodriguez, the Portuguese guy, uh, my dear brother from Portuguese, uh, from Portugal. And uh, yeah, I've, I've been. So, You've been busy. Times. Yeah. That's good. Several times. So, so tell us what. So obviously your career has sort of veered toward composing more. Mm -hmm. eh? yeah. I met you as a wonderful young guitarist who started in Paris. Now you are more concentrated in the composition aspect. And what's your language in in composition? Because now that's a very eclectic field. In the last forty years, everybody's writing their own style. 
and uh, thanks God in a way because we are not serialists, we are not impressionists, we are whatever we want to be. What's your style? Well, I don't know. I mean, like I, I just, I, I, I'm, I'm living in the 21st century mm -hmm. when we were bumped every day with a different kind of uh, aesthetics and kind of music. And then you wake up and then you, you want it or not, you're gonna listen to at least 10 or 15 styles of this different music before noon. You mm -hmm. see. So uh, I, I like to see myself as, as a working composer, working musician that I have to uh, I have to give and, 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 and I have to share some thoughts about uh, some certain uh, dialogue or, 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 or message that I want to give in a piece or situation I like to work with situations and then then I use whatever I need to use and whatever I can use well you see mm -hmm. because I mean I, I would like to use a lot of Languages that I that I or, or type of orchestration that I don't manage very well. So I, I first I, I, I don't use them and Then I study when I feel that I can use those languages effectively then I use it you right. see? Yeah. so uh, I, I Don't have I don't like to restrain myself as to, to, uh, as to one language because uh, I don't know it just comes naturally and I in and, and most of all when we do music, we, we share. Yeah. And when we share, you know, we're we're having we, it is a kind of a joy, you see. Yeah. And uh, we have fun and we have a good time. And uh, when I teach guitar, you know, there's a student that comes and he plays uh, Fernando Sor's etude or piece, you know, from the from the 19th century. And then we the the next one will come and play Bach, and then the next one will come and play Leo Brower, and, and mm -hmm. you know, it's a kind of mixture. And I have fun with all of them, and I love them all. So when I when I express myself in a piece, I don't like to restrain myself. So you know, I, definitely, I, 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 you are a twenty-first century composer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Internet or I mean like virtual, but uh, the classical music has, hasn't hasn't uh, stayed back. You know we were oh, we, we have been in the yeah. uh, in the front row yeah. right there. You know like uh, yeah. in, the, in the front of the, the bottle. So so I think that that was a very positive thing mm -hmm. that happened during this pandemic. Because uh, uh, I, I mean I, I think we as, as I mean I see we because I I, I, I I like to see myself. As part of that the classical music, I think we we reach people that that otherwise we would, would not be able to reach because of the sure. situation. You see, right. mm -hmm. and uh, and th there have been many things that have been made uh, that are very uh, useful towards uh, making. Reaching the people and let it let it know what really is classical music. More available. Yeah. yeah, and for example, the the concerts that the, the symphony orchestra have made, like uh, they they have they have put uh, uh, like a uh, a season like virtual season, and you can see the videos, and uh, and 
and reach other or other people and you know it has been very like uh very useful well the media has brought all yeah because you know? because I, I mean I, I mean everybody sits in the same place exactly. you sit in the computer, the computer they, 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 and, you you have, and then you go to yeah. facebook and all by a sudden yeah. i mean I, you see the Puerto Rico symphony and i and i bet a lot of people that uh have so let, let's see what's this and I've, yeah. I've heard about yeah, the, right. the uh, exactly. they, they hear the concert you know so I, I listen only to classical music but yeah. when I go into my PC I see classical and then I see something from pop and I see something from Bad Bunny exactly. and the list is so I have the choice to say well let me see how, what is this Bad Bunny about you know so, <laughs> so you know the lyrics or <laughs> well no I, then I listen to Bad Bunny and they, I go wow what a creative I, is yeah, it, so, so, you, so yeah, yeah. do you know the lyrics? Yeah. No, I don't know. Please, because I can't I understand it. Yeah, you have to learn it by heart. Okay. <laughs> right. I don't, uh, well, let's see. Uh, uh, sometimes I'm not quite ready for Bad Bunny. <laughs> well, it's a different type of message. It's not really what we're used to. <laughs> but uh, there's a lot of... You know, there's an interesting music in the lyrics now. For example, here in Puerto Rico, there are a lot of little groups and, and experimental music, kids from the, con not so much, the, well, maybe the conservatory, the university, who comes, and I listen to the lyrics, I was listening to this girl the other day, and you know, everything was about love, and I love, oh, let me, I love it. <laughs> now it's about topics about real life, you know? That love changed, in the yeah. context of what is the dynamic of the real life, the social status, the social implications, you know, the, the conflicts, the good things, the, it's a little bit more, less romantic and more realistic. Well, and, and, and also you listen to a lot of things right now, uh, like uh, before the, you have uh, like a bigger, um, how do you say, a bigger stop up, I mean, you, you can, you can only hit, listen to the things that are available that the big, uh, Publishers will let you yes. hear or get access to. Right now, you can. I mean, I, I I record a video and I put it on Facebook, and everybody can hear it. Yeah. So you you listen to a lot, and uh, it, it is true. The lyrics are getting getting a, a little a little bit uh, out of the love theme yeah. and all that. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I really Very appreciate, and, you That's know, and you the, the yeah. do the lyrics Hang right here. Sometimes I really appreciate Cole Porter, and they're all of an era. Good. But if they're yeah. good, there's plenty of time to bring them back. People oh, yeah. enjoy them. Absolutely. They're all them there. Again. Yeah, but uh, I was I was saying that that you know sometimes I will really appreciate a little bit of uh, you know working a little more the lyrics. You know, yes. it's not oh, no, the first no, lyric that comes to mind. Right, you know, right, right. and and yeah, yeah, yeah. But another uh, um, movement that has uh, sprung in the last uh, year or two is of course. The uh, artist, for example, in, I, I'm in the artist faculty at NYU, and we have to have a very, very active representation and position in transgender, transgender artist. Trans, I mean, our head of the department, she goes and says, as a pianist, I, you know, I, I'm for this. I, I affirm it, I think, and the whole faculty she has encouraged us to come out and say, yes, this is social, social justice. Mm -hmm. So we're in a position that the artist has to speak, at least in the United States, in social issues and have, have an impact on that. Maybe what? because of this reactionary fear that we have uh, gone through. United going, in the United States, the artist has taken a different position, much more socially active and you know, but but, uh, but, I, uh, but I think somehow we have always been like that. You see, always, the, uh, always, always, yeah, always. Yeah, like Puerto Rico, huh? Here in Puerto Rico. Yeah, but yeah. you know, some. I mean, like that's what I think. Huh? You know, sometimes mm -hmm. I, you know, things pass over my head. And, <laughs> I, don't, and I don't pay any attention. But I think, yeah, I think we we have been we're a little like bit. Well, because right, we're in the center of a lot of stuff. Let me tell you. We you have, have a woman composer America, here who's terrific. Johanna Navarro. Oh, no, she was wonderful. It's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, uh, it, she's an alumni wonderful. from the Conservatory of Music in Puerto Rico. Yeah, and Catholic University, and she wrote this beautiful opera. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah, the, now yeah. she has written the she has a second? Written second second one. Yeah, mm -hmm. see. So yeah, it is it is uh, it is a wonderful book, and uh, we we need to 
keep on doing that, that I, I think that's the secret keep on doing and and uh, the, the the way for me the way to get more people for for example f to to listen to the Puerto Rico Symphony or go, go to La Zarzuela or go to the, the opera I think we we should have like it, it has to be more normal the music has to be normal when you when you go to France and I lived in Paris for three years and then and, and you you have concerts, little concerts everywhere. You mm -hmm. know, you, you have concerts at noon. Mm -hmm. You have concerts at ten o'clock in the in the in the, uh, in the in the morning. You see, so it's a normal thing to do. Right. And I think we have to make it more casual. For example, if we have uh, because we have the 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 circuit the the the, the a the, 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 the how do you say a circuit one in, in English circuit so, circuit yeah. So if we have a B one, mm -hmm. you know, where, where, where you have uh, little houses that are doing like a very organized B one, where you have the the graduates from the conservatory, for example, or musicians that don't play the whole time in the A circle, or, mm -hmm. or they don't play at the A circle, but they can play uh, very well. So we, you you can have different kind of a uh, you, you can reach people, mm -hmm. and it is not reaching. Uh, I mean, I don't. I personally, I know, I know, I might be very wrong, but I don't think about teaching people. I think about sharing, you know, because I, when I, I mean, like, I, I come from a musical family. My father is a, a musician; he plays saxophone. But nobody teach me something uh, about uh, classical music. You now we were sharing, you know. My my father, of course, he would teach me the notes, and then he would point point me. You know, he played the the baritone saxophone. He so we, we was always pointing to the bass. Listen to the bass. Yes, it was. but uh, he wasn't. He was teaching by by sharing. You see, mm -hmm. and uh, that's the, that's the thing that I think is most important to to share, yeah, right. like deep things, deep things. It has to be deep. When uh, in the nineties, uh, when I was living in New York, and uh, Zubin Mehta was the, the conductor of the New York Philharmonic, he had a, a program geared to sharing with. Uh, kids for ghettos. Okay. So uh, I auditioned for him, and, and we have a whole set of people that he designed to go to all the ghetto school in Bronx, Queens, uh, what do you call it? All the all the boroughs, and then we I had stacks of letters like that. Mm -hmm. Then we brought them to Avery Fisher Hall, and I played with his assistant at the Liz E flat. And it was like I was some kind of a Michael, Michael Jackson, and some kind of a hero, and everybody, the kids were went crazy over mm. this. So, but of course, then he left and came Kermasur, who's from the Germanic, mm. and he didn't understand that, and so the was shot. <laughs> okay. So there's not a continuity of this. Thing. Oh, it's, it was part of life, huh? huh? Something again. <laughs> no, no, it's moral. No, uh, I, I, I must tell you, no. When I first came to Jan, I was uh, practicing the F minor piano quintet of Brahms, and Jan at that time had a, a, a girl who, a lady, who was one of the, um, uh, um, housekeeper. The housekeeper, yes. Yeah. And yeah. she was, you know, sweeping the floor. And she stopped. She put her broom down and started listening to me. So I stopped. I said, "What?" I said, oh, "I love that music." I said, "Do you know it?" "Yes, of course. I grew up with it." So where are you from? Germany. So it tells the whole story. You know, this is the F minor uh, piano quintet in Germany. Is this kids listen to this? But here we don't. We, this, this is something very well afar. So it has to it's, do with there the is a tragedy there. It, no, I think it's changing. You know, like I hope it's to, changing. No, it is changing because, uh, because we, we have uh, we have programs. At, for example, at the Conservatory of Music of Puerto Rico, we have the the uh, school for uh, uh, the preparatory school, preparatory school, and we have a thousand uh, students right there. You see, and uh, it, it is it is the, the way more than, for example, the, like fifteen years ago. The, the Programa de, de la escuela de, de, de cuerdas. So it is it is growing, mm -hmm. uh, and then all some uh, a lot night from the uh, conservatory of music in Puerto Rico, they have their own schools, and I know two of them, the the Puerto Rican school for music right there at the, at the at Santurce, and then you have uh, 
Felice Guitar Studio, where they have, a, 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 Felice has, uh, I don't know, like 200 or something students. And he has, uh, the school is like two years old or something like that, you see? Mm -hmm. And uh, the Puerto Rican School of Music, uh, Cynthia and, 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 and the, the Cartagena sister, Lynette and all that, mm -hmm. they have more, you yeah. see? Of course, yeah. So, yeah. so, and, and so it, it is changing. Yeah, it, 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 yeah. So we, but we use, I mean, you classical guitarist or classical musician that is watching this thing, you got to go outside and do your job too. You have to go <laughs> playing. You see, we have, we have to be yeah, playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to be doing yeah. things. Share. Thank Share. You. Sharing. of your music and I'm sure that everybody is interested in meeting new composers, particularly from Puerto Rico. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Everybody, everybody for thank you us so much. This evening and and sure. great to have you. And I nothing makes me happier for you people to the Puerto Rican composers to play and be appreciated and all it really get into your music and, and they are. Right Thank, there. You very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Congratulations. So from the Gallery Inn, the Steinway Society of Puerto Rico, <laughs> and of course the Cannon Club, and the yeah, Trust for the Education of Young Musicians, which we like to be sure to everybody remembers that these pianos are kept in perfect condition so that they can come and black practice and Good they've been board. learning with the uh, you this couple of weeks. I have to bring awesome. my kid to, to, to play the piano right now. I would love to hear. Oh, yeah, he plays very well. Wonderful. Well, I'm going to have really fun. Thank, Thank you, you so much for, you for being invitation. with us and sharing your wonderful gift of music. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.